very good morning to our respected father, Anthony Martin, our principal, sister Amy Martin, our vice principal, father, sister, teachers, and my fellow students. From time immemorial in India, father, mother, and teachers have been worshipped as God. However, the teachers have been accorded the highest honor, and our country has been blessed with lick of eminent teachers, and one among them is Dr. Savali Radhakrishnan, our former president, a great teacher, philosopher, and scholar in whose name Teacher Day is being celebrated everywhere with great joy and enthusiasm. Radha Krishna was a firm believer in the transformative power of education and believed that teachers to be the best mind in the country. Today, we set aside this day as a day of gratitude to recognize and appreciate the immense contribution of our teachers in shaping not just our individual lives, but the very fabric of our society. Teaching is not just a profession, but a noble vocation that requires patience, dedication, and an unwavering commitment to the growth and well-being of every child. You are our unsung heroes who nurture the seeds of knowledge, creativity, and character in each one of us and inspire us to be the best version of ourselves. Now, let me introduce you to the amazing teachers who have made a difference in our lives. Father, nothing more, nothing less. He is called as the Bengal Tiger of our school that looks very ferocious yet majestic and whose roar could be heard from runny market. His footsteps are like a feather as he passes through the veranda. He will come at any time and stay for 15 seconds through the window, analyzing with his white robotic eyes and continue the same process every class. No student who have received his beating can forget his skills of handling four sticks at one shot. He is strict simply because he loves. He scolds us and imposes rules so that we can be somebody someday. Sister Amy Margaret, she is our vice principal, but she is even more dangerous than our principal. Her sad page to the sharper than the black will cut you into pieces. She has creative ideas when it comes to giving the listening, which lets the child never repeat their wrongs again. She is kind and confident and has a great skill in public speaking. We are grateful to have a person so significantly influential and authoritative to look up to. We highly appreciate and admire your sense of responsibility and dedication done with utmost affection. Thank you, sister. Father Moses, he is upgraded from being Uncle Google of Don Bosco to Chat GPT. Now he knows more and more and is drowning in facts. The human brain can store much information every day and he is the perfect example for that. But be careful, Father, for you might lose storage. He is often seen with a leather bag hanging around his shoulder, supported by his strong big belly, and always on the move. We do not know where, but Father, we are sure he knows his destination. Father James. Black is black and white is white. A straightforward and a very disciplined person who demands the same from all. Highly intellectual, but symbol to the core, with a very unique hairstyle. His classes are mostly interactive, as he always encourages us to share our opinion, and always, and also because he conducts for him best to see our loudness, clarity, and basically confidence. He never fails to call us buffoons when he gets angry. Be careful never to anger him because the consequences will be irreparable. Father Sanjeev, he is the Gulab Jamun of a school, sweet and dark in color. He is one and only father whose growth could be visible because his belly seems to grow bigger and bigger each day. He teaches with great interest, but he is too kind that the students take him for granted. 
the students wait eagerly for his class because they can relax and talk as much as they want. He always ends his class with a riddle. His high-pitched voice echoes across the hall, which can be heard even from another classroom. Sister Esther. She is like a boiler, wrong in shape and fully packed. She is serious looking and rarely sees her smiling. But be careful when she gets angry, the words can stick. She uses a like double-edged sword that will pierce your heart like an arrow piercing your heart. She has a big voice, but a sword like lemon. She is intelligent and brings life to her class and makes sure that every student studies her subject. Sister Sylvia, only sister whom we can identify from afar because of her teeth. A calm, seemingly cool nature, but if you make her angry, you will see a real tsunami taking place in front of your eyes. So be careful not to ignite her anger, for it will be like waking a sleeping lion. We thank her for the dedication and service she renders to our school. Sister Maria, the youngest yet the most energetic star who is ready for any voluntary work anytime, anywhere. A person who will laugh at any time and anywhere. She is simple, reliable, approachable and very humorous. So if you want to hear any jokes, you can log into her website at sistermariagmail.com. Sir Bimo, a mathematical genius, mostly known for his stone-cold face, but oh my god, you know, his heart is soft and fluffy as a cotton candy. He also has an art of roasting his students in the most creative way. He is already honoured as the king of sarcasm among the students. Above all, he has a great talent in singing and at the same time very strict, which makes us to be more serious in our studies. Thank you, Sir Strutt. I mean, obviously, seriously, the way he walks really resembles a 90s supermodel and his textbook is the purse. At first, he may seem like a very strict and scary student teacher, but he is a softy at heart. He barely gets angry, but if you disturb him during his class, he would roar at you like a lion. He is a silent worker who does his job perfectly, a very simple and down-to-earth teacher. Sir Pokin. Still and will always be the Goku of a school. We all know that he has one of the best voices in our school and has a good, skillful talent for singing. But do you also know that he is a secret rapper who reads the textbook faster than the light can travel? <laughs> Famous rapper Eminem has not uttered a single word ever since Sir Pokin started reading. He is smart, logical, and practical. We are lucky to have him. Sir James, only teacher that teaches with a smile on his face. He always tells us interesting facts about himself and always shakes his teeny body while explaining. And if anyone wants to know about any movie, he is the right person to talk to. Apart from that, he is very smart and very knowledgeable when it comes to random facts and his subject. He always makes an effort to guide us to, to the right track. Sir Martin. Ah, the man who proves you can be big in size and heard at the same time. He talks just like an American in classy accent. You will never see him in a casual outfit. He always presents himself in a formal manner. Although very scary looking, he is simple and very patient towards his students. But when he loses that patience, his face turns into the brightest shade of red, and his voice bells the highest note that are impossible to mankind. Sir Kung King, he has the body of an Olympic swimmer and the face of a Hollywood actor. He is one of those little teachers who always likes to make
making classes more fun by starting it off with a joke or a story. He is very kind towards his students, but when he gets angry, beware of his knocks. His knuckles are made of steel, and one knock from him is audible all the way to Chulun village. <laughs> Sir Luke, he has a great posture and a very arched back. He really resembles Donald Duck. If you ask him the meaning of a term based on economics, he always gives you an answer. His teaching is very easy to understand and he will always tell you to underline the important points. But after class, if you open the textbook to see the points he has given you, you will find that every word Every line and every paragraph is underlined. He is very close to his students and surprisingly calm, although he looked very strict. Sir Barnabas. He is the coolest teacher with an IQ higher than Einstein himself. He always tries to help us to work smarter rather than harder. He has creative and innovative ideas to help us learn quicker. Besides, he resembles the famous actor Jackie Chan a lot and can probably pull off all his stunt with his eyes closed. Sir Dilian, he is the most non-challenged teacher with his eyes half closed all the time and every time he blinks, it is in slow motion. <laughs> Even though he always looks and sounds like he is sleepy, Ever since he started wearing spectacles, he looks like Clark Kent from the Super Mom movie. His stomach always enters the classroom before him, but he is very informative while teaching and has a great care for his students. Sir John, he is the kindest teacher who always walks with pride. And every time he gets one of his charming smile, a star twinkles between his teeth with a ringing sound that goes ding. He's very patient towards his students, but dark clouds hovers above the classroom when he gets mad, and you'll get an anxious feeling as if the thunder is about to strike at you any moment. Sir Thomas, he is the tallest teacher having the most perfect figure and the only male teacher who looks so gorgeous and sorry. Girls went crazy last children's day. When he wore Sari, he is second next to Sir Arkin, who has a very commanding voice. He is so strict that a student in his class will maintain a pin drop silence. But we are very grateful and admire your strictness and discipline. Sir Jacob, he is the coolest teacher who came straight from the freezer, but when he gets angry, forget about the urban. He is like an alien with big red eye that came from the sun. He is musically talented. He also likes to create jokes in the classroom and teaches passionately. But at times, we mistake him for a student as he is seen sitting along with students on the bench. <laughs> Sir Raymond. He is the Kapil Sharma of Don Bosco. Whenever he enters the class, it is like we were in the actual Kapil Sharma show. He was born to be a stand-up comedian, but end up being a teacher. His jokes are never-ending trails, which always lifts us breathless. Overall, he is a very kind and a good teacher. His classes are always fun. So, Nandidinang. He is like a Duracell battery and a torch because despite his age, his looks are still shining. He always makes jokes based on bad and good curry. He is such a sweet soul and forever green like Dave Anand, one and only male teacher who brings seasonal fruits to school for his colleagues. <laughs> Sir Icon, he is the most wanted teacher he has the sweetest and the friendliest smile that will deceive you. He is a logical thinker and a humorous. Students will always remember dearly the painful long sweets they receive every morning after the school assembly. 
His various personality traits are like layers of sweet cream on a cake and his big round red face when he gets angry is the cherry on top. Madam Margaret, she is beautiful body and soul. She is like an angel who is compassionate, kind and loving and is always willing to lend a helping hand and supportive ease to the young and old. Like a mother, she sees to the need of all very calmly. Miss Lincoln, she is small in size, but pungent as Raja Chili. She is also like a teapot in the fire, because when the notiness of the students get her pressure higher and higher, she bursts out with a steam and a high whistle sound. She is a great te English teacher who seems to find a deep meaning word in every single word. Now number two, Ganglio. It seems her stick is getting bigger and longer year by year, and seems using it like a sword as she walks around the hallway. Her beating is not a joke. You will be forced to jump because of its pain. She has a trick fashion that all of the girls in the school absolutely love. She is genius and has a feminine nature. Madam Ning Shui. She is chubby and short, just like a cute teddy bear. She is very kind-hearted and is like a mother to us. She shouts all day at the top of her voice to explain until her voice cracks. And she always has a chalk dust on her forehead, which is very lovable. Miss Monica, our serene Hindi teacher who brings a peaceful stillness to the classroom with her quiet presence. Looks very quiet but very strict. No one can escape from her painful bidding if we fail to study or do her homework. But we appreciate your discipline because it is balanced with care. We hardly see her talking. Madam Elizabeth, here comes another aspiring singer from our school. She has a nice husky voice that melts our heart whenever we hear it. She brings so much energy wherever she goes. It is like she is forever young though married. She is the proof that age is just a number and enthusiasm is timeless. Sir Jacob, you are blessed to have her. <laughs> Madam Amelia, she is the doctor of our school. With her magical hand, she can heal any student whenever he or she is suffering from stomach or headache by pulling the ear, here, etc. The healing person hurts more than the actual pain. While explaining the lesion, her hands and are so precise. You would think she is performing a dance routine or bandaging a wound. She always keeps us on our toes. Madam Rachel, Madam Ice Cream of Don Bosco to Mangler. She had a full look and a calm, quiet and serene nature. She works with poise just like the Queen of England and holds an angelic kind of beauty. She is very patient while taking class. When we look at her, we feel like she has no emotions so, madam, it's a request from students to give us your smile sometimes. Madam Teresa, she is Kendall Jenner of our school because she is as tall as the Eiffel Tower and has a slim, lanky figure. She walks very slowly like a cat thief towing across the classroom, but be careful not to anger her. She takes care of the student and trusts it to her. She is very passionate in her teaching. Madam Aduana, one and only teacher who has a curly hair and a broad smile. She has a very short temper, literally. She gets angry very quickly, but the beauty is that, she, that her anger finishes fast. She is like a roaring tigress. She holds a long stick, waving it like a kung fu master. Other than that, she is very well managed and easy to talk to. She looks after her students as her own children. Madam Pao Ning. 
She can play the role of a mother in a melodramatic Hindi serial because she has different salvers and overall her looks are like a Bollywood star. She is very simple yet disciplined. She loves children, which is obvious by the way she treats her students. Miss Stella. Here comes the Malaika Aurora of a school. Small, stylish and everlasting. She is still single as a Pringle, not ready to mingle, but she should be ready to mingle or her beautiful genes to be passed on to her next generation will be wasted. <laughs> we are blessed to have her because any program, she is ready with her ready-made dancers. <laughs> Madame de Grecia. Madame Tortoise of Don Bosco. And our favorite slogan is, slow and steady wins the rest. She's so wrong and fat that at times we mistake her for Sir Icon from the back. <laughs> She is patiently patient with the students and encourages her students to study and make learning a fun. Madam Helen, lovingly stern and very helpful reminder. She is known as the silencer of the school and he always silences the children with her tiny voice. She is motherly and she knows how to deal with every student. Madam Marta, huge as the Titanic ship. She is lover of the kids and is known as the mother of the school. She is very sociable to children. In spite of her huge body, she is able to move around freely with the students. Yeah. Madam Stella, a fatherly figure of the school, a morous storyteller, carefree in nature, a pedophile lover of bread always joyful and makes children happy. Her laughter can be heard from afar, takes utmost care of the children and trusted to her care. Madam Salome, she could be called the actress of DBS or the master of faces and voices who teach the students with different facial expression and voices thus attracting every restless students to listen to her with wide open mouth. A motherly figure who knows how to tackle every student under her care. Madame Rosaline. She is a fearless teacher who can teach a symphony of knowledge even in the midst of classroom concert. She is quite patient and slow. She wel welcomes every child with warmth of love and broad smile and makes the day brighter. Miss Asoni, only teacher with big round flat face and big lips that when she smile, her mouth covers the entire face that even her spectacle is nowhere to be shown. She is described as a cheerful and joyful person. She enters the class with a smile on her face. But when she gets mad, she will bring a greater cyclone that will blow us all away. Sir Mariangton, he is the current boy of our school with a tremendous fashion. Sometimes when he part his hair, I mistakenly see him as Jungkook. He dresses better than girls and sings outfits, outfits every day. It's like watching different episodes of a show. He is a very thin man, but his intelligence is very fat. Sir Bui Sing. Here comes the white memos of our school, always moving swiftly across the hallway. Be careful when you walk with him. He moves so fast that in a blink of an eye, he will be one kilometer away from you. He is always behind the scene in every school function and everything else. Sir Anthony. He is the Salman Khan of her school with his big muscles. He looks like a bodyguard because his dresses is black most of the time and also he looks like he is about to perform combat and jump at anyone at any time. He is always at the school counter. Miss Fatima. He, she is the skinniest staff of the Bosco with bright red lipstick on her lips that makes her more outstanding than any other teacher. 
her protruding cheekbones are as high as the Mount Everest, and it's like she has a natural Botox since birth. All the girls are jealous. She is a silent, diligent worker. Dear teachers, as we celebrate your day, we want each of you to know how much we appreciate you. You are more than just our teachers. You are our mentor, guide, and our role model. Thank you for inspiring us to dream big, to reach for the stars, and to believe in ourselves, even when the journey seems tough. On behalf of all the students, I say a heartfelt thanks to you. You make a lasting difference in our lives, and we will always remember and cherish the lessons you have taught to us. Once again, we wish you a very happy Teachers' Day. We remain your students of the Moscow Higher Secondary School, 5th September 2024.